Hi guys, it's Kristen from Printable Cuttable Creatables. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sketch version of my Cran Holder Valentines in Cricut Design Space. Originally, this file was designed as a print and cut project, so if you're using the print and cut files, I've put the link to that video in the description below. I did have a lot of people asking me how to draw the coloring image instead of print it, uh, but drawing files need to be designed using a single line, so the print and cut version of these files really couldn't be used that way. So I just updated this set to include a version with coloring images that can be drawn using your machine's drawing pens. So here I'm going to show you how to set that up in Design Space. Currently in Design Space, all SVG files will upload with the layers set to basic cut by default. So there's just a few steps we need to do to tell our Cricut machines that we want to draw instead of cut everything. So I'm here on the canvas and I'm going to click upload, upload image. So when you unzip your download folder, you're going to see these different folder options. There's a folder with designs for Cricut Joy. If you're a Cricut Joy user, you're going to follow along with these instructions, but you're going to pick your files from this folder. Then we have the SVG Draw with Pen and SVG Print and Cut, which is the original files if you're going to print your coloring images. In this case, we're going to draw, so I'm going to click inside the Draw with Pen folder and we can see that there's versions with two holes and there's versions with four holes. And then there's also dashed score lines and solid score lines included. For this file, the score lines are actually meant to be perforated and they are already designed as a perforation within the dashed score line file. But if you have a perforation tool and you really want to use it, you can go ahead and choose the solid score line file. But just don't use these if you're using a regular scoring tool because the bookmark part actually needs to be torn off to create the bookmark. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose one of these files. I have the four hole dashed score line selected. So I will open that up. And as we can see, everything's going to come in as a basic cut layer. So import that to my canvas. So now I have the design of my canvas and it looks pretty funny because right now everything is set to basic cut as we can see in the layers panel. Now by default, all files will upload to Design Space grouped together. So we're just gonna right click and ungroup. Now all of the drawing images are already grouped. So if I click on this group name, it has selected all of these drawing parts and that's the uh, rainbow design here cupcakes and rainbows so we can see that all of these pieces have been selected and then if I press shift and click on the the group for another coloring card and then scroll down and click shift and then scroll down and click shift again now I have selected all of the coloring card images and I can come up here to the operations menu and change it from cut to pen and now we can see that they are set to draw and in the uh, layers panel we can see they are all set to pen now the individual cards themselves are also grouped together so that now all we have to do is i can click on the main group name and then choose attach and this will keep everything together when we send it to the mat so I'm going to click the next group and this for this we need to do it one at a time otherwise we're going to attach all of the cards to each other and we don't we don't want to do that. So I'll just go through each card and again I'm clicking the main group name and clicking attach. So now we have each card and their individual cards. I could freely move them around and, you know, rearrange them as I want to, but they are now set up to draw and then cut. So when I click the make it button, we head over to the make it screen and we can see that the files are ready to first draw and then cut. So now you can hit continue, load your pen and your mat, and then your Cricut will do the rest. If you purchase the print and cut only version of this file and you would also like to have a sketch version, you don't need to purchase this again. Just send me an email with your order number and I will be happy to send you the updated file.